flag fluttered proudly over Christie Park, but for once in the season it had to play second fiddle to the colours of the visitors. They streamed through the gates, swelling the crowd to a sellout of 4,500. But the home support had their heads in their hands within 30 seconds, an error by Davy Moan almost letting United in for an early gift from the Highlands. A few minutes later, Martin Stewart broke free to shock Kellam O'Hanlon in the United goal. United, though, were sharper on the ball and always had the wider range of options. The breakthrough looked inevitable and was duly delivered after a quarter of an hour by Craig Brewster, placing his header after a floating cross from David Bowman. The Huntley defence get things its own way most Saturdays, but the Brazilian talents of Sergio provided a constant challenge. The defenders were tested again moments later when a long goal kick from Kellam O'Hanlon found Craig Brewster. The ball eventually threaded its way to David Hanna, who cracked a shot against the bar. Then, after half an hour, Gordon Petrich's free kick found a former United goalkeeper, John Gardner, fumbling with empty space, and Morris Malpass found his name on the score sheet for the first time in three years. The Huntley dugout, on this occasion, none too happy with the defence. The crowd provided their own entertainment at the interval, proving that they too could be as off-target as the players. The long arm of the law soon fell foul of this Middle Eastern gentleman of a tangerine persuasion, but the smiles soon turned to frowns when a hoarding collapsed under the pressure of United supporters. Chairman Jim McLean left the stand to appeal for Cam, and although order was eventually restored, the start of the second half was delayed, the police forming a temporary barrier. On the field itself, United were soon on the offensive again through Sergio. The forwards linked well, but Craig Brewster will be kicking himself as well as the ball for shirking this open goal. Huntley kept looking to pull one back and almost did so through Brian Thompson, but Kellam O'Hanlon was equal to his effort. United kept a light foot on the accelerator in the second half, but sealed their victory in the last quarter of an hour. David Hanna working his way into the box and bouncing the ball through Gardner's jogging pants. To their credit, Huntley never gave up and within three minutes of the United strike had grabbed a consolation. Martin Stewart picking up a pass in midfield and cool as you like, stilettoing home the shot. The light at last for the home support. He almost had another to cheer as referee Kenny Clark was inhaling for the final whistle, but it wasn't to be a lucky day for the Christie Park faithful. So Huntley fans looking sheepish, but a quarter-final draw for United at either Ibrox or Tynecastle. I mean, we know both Hearts and Rangers very well, so I mean, we know what to expect against teams like that. But I mean, we're, we're not really bothered who we get. I mean, we, our record's not great at Tynecastle, but I mean, it wouldn't be a bad time to sort that one out. And Ibrox as well. I mean, everybody enjoys playing at Ibrox. That's what you, you play football for, to play at the big occasion. But you're still desperate to hang on to that trophy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've ever been in the dressing room. I think we, after last year, you get the taste of it. You, you see what it is like to win something. And I, mean, I think we got that last year. And I mean, we all want to carry on and win it again this year.